Hello my beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a red glitter smoky eye featuring the Morphe 3502 Nature Palette. So as always, I'm going to start um, with my concealer. So I'm doing the Anastasia Beverly Hills 2.5 concealer. Then I'm using the Airspun, Trans Airspun Translucent Powder just to set that. And this is just going to make sure our eyes are nice and primed. And I'm going in with the palette and I went in with the first shade which is called Universal. Start applying that as a first transition color on all my crease and a little bit above my crease. Just making sure to blend that color and build that color up as well. And then I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. And I'm going to dip my brush into the second color which is called Orb. And I'm just putting it a little lower, making sure those two colors mix together and blend really nicely. Just blend, 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 blend. Now I'm going in with the color called Heat and I'm just going a little lower this time just so that those all the colors can remain the same. So we're just going a little lower. We still want to make sure that those other colors show up so I went back in with the first color, Universal. Now I'm going in with the orangey color called a blaze and I'm just making sure that that color just mixes in really well. Now I went with the color fire and I just went with a flat shading brush and I just made sure that I packed that color on. Pack, 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 pack. And I just went back in with a blaze just to make sure that that color is still showing. Then I went with um, this glitter from superglitters.com called Super Red. And I'm going in with the NYX glitter primer. I'm just patting that on. I'm just getting a really a flat brush and just applying that glitter. Um, this can be a little tricky, so that's why I didn't wear any foundation previously, just because you're gonna have a lot of little bits of glitter. And if you do wear your foundation, it's just gonna all go and set on your foundation. So I just recommend you guys to do it like this. And that's all I'm doing, just adding more glitter until I feel like I get as much glitter as I need. But I really, really like these glitters because they're so like fine. Because I've tried other glitters and they're really chunky. So now I removed the tape. And I'm just going in with the Neutrogena Makeup Remove Wipe. And just making sure I wipe all that off my face because I had so much glitter. Um, then I just went back with those orangey colors. I mix them together and just put them back on the top of my crease just to make sure it's still there. And I just made sure all that glitter's off. Um, just cleaning, cleaning, cleaning that up because I had a lot of glitter. Now I'm going to go with my Cover Fix Blurring Primer. And I'm just going to start applying that all over my face. Now I'm going with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. I'm just starting to outline my brows and just I'm going to start just filling them in. This is what I always do. I always start on the bottom, then I start on the top, then I just lightly I don't even get more product, I just lightly fill everything in. And I'm, that's kind of key with pomades because if you just keep on putting too much, it looks really thick. So I'm just filling my brows in. And I usually do it beforehand, but this time I was started recording my eyeshadow, I was like, oh my god. So I did it like this, but I usually do it beforehand just because it's a lot easier for me. But it's optional, however you guys like to do it. And I just used um, some concealer to clean up the top of my brows. Now I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in shade 3.5 and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, I mean Pro Glow, not Pro Matte Foundation and 204 Natural Buff. And I'm just blending those two foundations into my skin. I found this combination is perfect for my skin because the Urban Decay All Nighter on its own can be really, really thick. And the Pro Glow is really liquidy, so those two mix together. It gives me full coverage and it still makes my face look glowy, which is something that I want. So I'm just blending that foundation. And I went in with the concealer from NYX, I believe. And I will link the shade down below because I don't remember where I left my concealer at. But I also went on top of that concealer 
with the Maybelline New York, um, what's it called? Fit Me Concealer in light. Shade 10 light, and I'm just blending that in with a beauty blender. Now I'm gonna go in with uh, my Rimmel London setting, Stay Matte Powder in shade Transparent, just setting my whole face. And I'm getting my brush, and I'm getting the Hula Bronzer. I've had this bronzer forever, but I really never liked it. And I just decided to give it a try and again, and I really did like it. So I like it because it's not too much, and you can build it up if you want. And I'm just cleaning the bottom with the Airspun Translucent Powder. Um, I went ahead and applied blush. I applied the Milani Romantic Rose Powder Blush, which is my favorite. And I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills and Ritzy Highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter of all times. I used to love the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, It's So Hollywood, but this one is my new favorite. Then I went in with my favorite lip liner called um, Mahogany, and this is by NYX. Then I went in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Stripped. And I just mix that together. Now I'm just going back in with the same colors I use on the top, um, to just to put on my lower, um, on my under my eye, just to give it a mirrored effect. I went in with that glittery um, color called Pure, and just use that as the inner corner highlight. Then I went in with the lip gloss by Tard called Double Tap, and now I'm curling my lashes. I went in with these lashes by Lena D Beauty called Pure Innocence. These are like my new favorite. I never tried these. These are really voluminous and really pretty and I don't know. I just love lashes so those are so cute. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been filming for you guys. If you guys do not know, I'm pregnant and I've just been so lazy. Like I don't even feel like doing my makeup anymore. Before I was pregnant, every day I had to have my makeup done for work. Right now, people are like, is everything okay with you? I'm like, yeah, I'm just so lazy. Like, wake up 30 minutes before work, just put my uniform on, get at work. And everybody's just like, but yeah, I've been losing a lot of weight too. I really don't feel like eating that much. And I went in with the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. I use waterproof just because my lashes are really straight and if I don't, they fall down. But you guys could use the other ones. But this is my favorite mascara. And last but not least, I'm applying a little bit highlighter of the Emirati on my brow bone and just making sure that looks cute. I was just blending it a little bit because some glitter went on there. And I'm using the Mario Badescu Rose Water, the Cover Fix Setting Spray, and the Urban Decay All Nighter. I used all those three just to give me really nice and glowy skin and so it can set really good and I'm just trying it. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.